there is literally a Starbucks in every corner of the city of Manhattan. And if there's not a Starbucks, there's a, some type of coffee shop on every freaking corner. So you could take a pick of whatever coffee shop you wanted to go to. Or <laughs> you can follow me to the meatpacking district and uh, go to the coolest Starbucks I have ever seen in my life. So this Starbucks is called Starbucks Reserve and it basically is the biggest Starbucks I've ever seen in my life. I was actually there this weekend. I took some clips, um, but it came out kind of choppy. So um, I am gonna take you there again and show you how cool it is. It's huge, not only does it have coffee, it's got like a whole bunch of stuff and I'm gonna show you right now. Walking up along the meatpacking district. I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> so basically it's like right kind of across from uh, the like back end of Chelsea Market. Um, and that's basically how I discovered it this weekend. I was in Chelsea Market. Um, I went from the front, exited from the back, and then walked along the street the opposite way that I'm walking right now. And I discovered it. Customers, uh, the reason why we're trying to cool uh -huh. it down is because the company is still very hot, and so because it's still hot, uh -huh. we need to be able to extract as much heat as possible here. Uh, so for it to cool down, because if not, it'll actually be Oh, that's down. awesome! So it's it's straight from that machine. Yeah. So it's straight from that machine. Yeah, yeah. There's like a, a, a chamber underneath, and it's attached to a fan inside there. So that fan, as it turns on, creates a vacuum. Awesome! Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Downstairs? No, it's not actually. So this is our Paradisi blend. Oh, okay. So this is uh, essentially a three coffee blend from Rwanda, Malawi, and Peru. Cool. As opposed to that one downstairs that I wasn't sure I didn't catch the blend that they had down there. But he let me touch it and it was warm, so that was pretty cool. like pizzas over here and like a machine. They even have pizzas. samples of whiskey barrel iced coffee. Oh wow, whiskey barrel iced coffee. Yes. <laughs> whiskey barrel iced coffee. Give it a good smell. Oh, so there's no alcohol on it even though they have the knob creak thing right there. <laughs> yeah. Building the entire building. Wow. It's good. It's not like a whiskey flavor. Well, I mean, when whiskey like this carries alcohol, it like sharpens its notes and makes a lot of people think it's a whiskey taste. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Thank you so much. <laughs>
contrast to this behind me. But it kind of looks like a it kind of looks like a cold brew station. That's really cool. This is the coolest Starbucks ever. Um, what's funny is that um, I was actually in Times Square this weekend and I was at a Starbucks over there. Um, like right in Times Square, across from the W Hotel. And I actually thought that that was the craziest, largest Starbucks that I had ever seen. Um, I'll take you guys in. The past couple days, I've discovered some crazy Starbucks, but standing right behind me in Times Square is one of the craziest Starbucks I have ever encountered. Let me take you inside so I can show you um, why I say that. This is the coolest Starbucks ever. They have like these TV things. This is like right in the middle of Times Square, so like that's probably why I've never discovered this. But it's so cool. It's like humongous. It's clean. There's actually no seats. It's just standing only. I think there's seats back there, but there's not like a lot. Which is probably a good thing because otherwise tourists would sit here forever and all the bums would sit here. So, like it's like so super clean and it's so sweet looking. Um, they have this like thing right here where you can like customize your own coffees and you can use different brews. It's like a like an actual barista thing. It's like like imagine like you're at a bar and like you choose your different types of whiskeys or whatever. <laughs> it's like that but like with coffee and you can like customize your own coffee. So basically, I didn't even realize it. I got exactly this drink right here. But I just basically made it up because I saw that they had the dark chocolate mocha and I wanted the iced coffee and I felt like mocha. And I saw that on the menu, so I was like, oh, why don't I try that ice? Um, and I didn't realize it was a specialty drink. So it's called Starbucks Reserve, I guess. Really, really cool. All I wanted today was a little coffee and my little yogurt, but um, we're at the Starbucks and they're like, it's like teaching day, so they have like all the new employees learning how to make the drink. So they were giving out, like, they had three frappuccinos, so they were giving them out because they were just showing um, the new people how to make them, so it was like extras. So I took this, which I'm trying to throw away because it's like so good, but it's like so heavy. And um, so I got a dark chocolate um, iced coffee with soy milk, and they put it in this really, really cool cup that's reusable. She was like, don't throw it away because it's reusable. So that's really, really cool. I've never seen this before at Starbucks. So yeah, check these out too. So cool. So I was just standing right here and I didn't know what it is. They apparently have coffee workshops. This is such a cool Starbucks. I have like one area that's reserved for seating. Um, right on the left here behind me. And that's kind of it because otherwise people in Times Square would sit here forever and they just like camp out. But anyways, it's really, really cool. Um, I feel like they're just trying to make Times Square less annoying. <laughs> And they're making like all these cool things in Times Square. So yeah, you should definitely check this out if you come to Times Square. And the, the lines go pretty quickly. And if you have the app, obviously you don't have to wait on the line. Um, so yeah, this is the coolest, the coolest Starbucks I've ever seen. But then, you know, the next day we came over here to Chelsea. And I was like, whoa, this is even bigger than that Starbucks. So, um, so yeah, and check this out. I just noticed, I only noticed this now. There's a little fireplace. How cute is that? <laughs> so once again, if you are heading to New York City, there's no reason why you should not be heading over to the Meatpacking District because it's a really, really cool neighborhood. And if you head over this way, you can head on over and get your morning fix or your afternoon fix or your night fix, even if your night fix is wine, because I have wine up in here, um, at the Starbucks Reserve. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the coolest Starbucks I've ever seen, the biggest Starbucks I've ever seen. 
So let me know if you are a Starbucks fan, if you're a coffee fan, and um, comment below and tell me what your favorite or your go-to order at Starbucks is. Mine's a nice coffee with toffee nut. Anyways, <laughs> I'll check you guys out in the next one. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Um, like my videos. And uh, comment below and tell me what your favorite Starbucks drink is.